Good morning. So today, Elaine and I have actually gone into town because she's feeling a lot better. Uh, the TMJ still has her jaw locked, but I don't think she's in as much pain at all as she was yesterday or on Friday. Well, she's definitely not in as much pain as she's in on Friday because that was definitely the worst of it. But yeah, we've decided to come into town and she's over on the other side of the city and I'm heading to the south side because I need to pick up some Christmas presents. One of them is actually for Elaine. So this is great that she's over there. It means that I can run over here and pick up the main part of her present. And yeah, we're gonna basically, I think, just try and completely finish our Christmas shopping today so that we're all set for Christmas. And then once we've done that, uh, we're gonna try and get some lunch and then probably head home to the dog. Okay, so I've actually come into a clothes shop and I've just seen this jacket and I'm in a changing room right now. I'm absolutely not buying this jacket. I haven't even looked at the price, but I'll just check it now. So the price of this jacket is 850 euro. I'm absolutely not buying it, but I'd seen it online and I just wanted to have a look at it. I'm in this shop and they happen to have it, so I decided I would try it on because it's from Bellstaff and you guys may or may not know but I think I've talked about this in the past a little bit but Bellstaff are one of my favorite brands. I have a few Bellstaff jackets already which is why I'm not buying any more but um, yeah I just wanted to try this on so that's what we're here for. So this is how the jacket looks. A couple of things I'll say about this jacket. Um, I actually really like it. I like it way more than I thought I would. It's really soft. The cotton is really heavy um, but it's really soft and it's just lovely. It's really really nice But I don't want to own this jacket and um, I don't like the zip on the front of it. It's really difficult to uh, Zip it up when you open the zip or when you try to close the zip first. So the zip is very stiff I'm sure that would it could just be this particular one or It could be something that would just relax as time goes on but the reason I wanted to try this jacket is because I have a bag from Belstaff that's made out of this material. It's basically if Belstaff took my bag and made it into a jacket. That's what I like about it. So yeah, I just wanted to try it on for that reason. And I'm going to put it back on the shelf now and go and meet Lane. We've come down to Waterstown Park to just take Frank out for a walk because we haven't really had him out at all yet today. Um, just because we were in town for like four or five hours. Um, so yeah, we've come down here now and we're gonna take him for a little walk around. But there's something I need to show you because I said I'd show you guys this when we put it on him. But Frank is wearing his polo neck top. So this is how he looks oh, in it. Do a fashion show. Come on. He's stylish. He's trotting there. Good boy. Good boy. Now. Frank hasn't been down here for about two weeks, so he's stopping to sniff absolutely everything. But um, yeah, he looks so stylish in his polo neck. And like it's a cold enough day today, but it's a thermal line top. So it probably, and it's covering more of him than his jacket would cover. So it's actually probably keeping him warmer than his coat would on a day like today, which is great. So yeah, we're just letting him out for a bit of a roam around. I've been thinking a little bit about that jacket since I tried it on earlier today and I have some thoughts on it. First of all, it's a lovely jacket. I thought it was really nice. I thought it felt really lovely when it was on, but it's not my style. I don't think it looked good on me. I think it's too long in the body for me. I'm just, I'm not tall enough to wear that jacket. Like my wax cotton jacket is quite long and it 
cuts me a little bit higher than this jacket did and I think that suits me much better. And then the second thing is that the style of jackets that I wear, like my black leather jacket that I was wearing today and my wax cotton jacket, like they're a very similar design and it's a look that I really, really like. And while the jacket that I was wearing today had a similar design, it just it doesn't have the same kind of biker look that the jackets that I wear have. So I really just don't like it as much as the jackets that I already have. But as I've already said, it is a really nice jacket. And I mentioned earlier about the bag that it looks like if they turned my bag into a jacket, it would look like the jacket. Well, this is the bag that I was talking about. This is my Belsaf canvas bag. So I love this bag and I've had this for years. So it's the same kind of heavy duty canvas that the jacket that I wore today was made from. And it has the same kind of metal logo plaque, which I'm actually delighted to see Belsaf bring this back because it's not something that they've had on their jackets for the last couple of years. And even like the leather straps that were on the sleeves are the same as these leather straps and buckles here. It's just, it's really obvious that the jacket that I tried on today, it's taking a lot of its design cues from that bag. So yeah, that's why I really liked it, but it's just, it's not the jacket for me. So I'm back down in the kitchen now. I'm just prepping our dinners. And tonight for dinner, we're having stew. And it's not a strictly vegetarian stew because there'll be some lamb in it. Um, but that is one of the meats that we haven't fully eliminated at the moment. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. And originally Elaine was going to make this, but because she's just not really feeling well, and while she's been feeling a lot better today, she's still not great. So she's just taking it easy. And I'm going to make the stew tonight. And while I'm making the stew, I'm going to do all of the meal prep that I need to do for next week as well. So that's just my bean burritos and my tofu Thai red curries that I made last week. So I'm going to be doing the same thing again. So that is my plan for the next couple of hours. Hey Siri, set me a timer for 45 minutes. In 45 minutes, I just have to put the potatoes into the stew and then I think it's about another 45 minutes and then it'll be ready to eat. So stew is a handy one like that. You can kind of just throw everything into the pot and leave it. It's not something that's particularly labor intensive, but it's not the kind of thing you want to make for dinner if you're in a hurry. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward enough. I've never actually made stew before, so this will be interesting. Elaine left me the instructions and I'm following those. So I'm sure it will be very tasty. But yeah, it's a new one for me. I haven't actually made it. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to just prep the potatoes so they're ready to go in. And then I'll start doing the rest of my meal prep for next week. So the potatoes have just gone into the stew, so it'll be about another 45 minutes before the stew is ready. But it's just cooking away, and I've got the beans prepared for my bean burritos. Now, I realized as I was putting everything together that I didn't have an onion, and their recipe's meant to have an onion. So what I did in place of the onion was I put some extra garlic in, and I added some olives, just to kind of add something extra in to replace the onion. So I don't know what it's gonna taste like in terms of, like, or I don't know what kind of impact that's gonna have in terms of the flavor. But one thing I can tell you already is that I think I accidentally put more chili powder in than normal. So it already tastes kind of hot. Now, the only thing I will say there is that when I tasted it at this stage last week, they tasted really, really spicy. But when I actually had the burritos themselves all put together, they weren't half as spicy as they were when it was just the beans in the pan. So I'll know tomorrow if that's the case and hopefully I'll remember next week to be able to tell you guys. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. I think they're gonna be a little bit spicier and they're definitely gonna be a little bit different because there's no onion, there's more garlic and there's olives and I've never put olives in it before. But it's kind of a Mexican-y flavor so I think the olives will go well 
with that. I have a minute left to go on my alarm, but I actually think the stew is done, so I've taken it off the heat, and it looks really good. Now, I think it might be a little soupier than it should be, but it looks really good, and I can't wait to eat it. So, how are you feeling? I'm sore. Uh, no, I'm not as sore as I was yesterday, but my mouth is like gas hell and can open it. <laughs> Poor pet. So Ronan made me stew and then I had to blend the meat because I couldn't chew it. But um, there's, there's less pain and I was able to sleep on my side, which I haven't been able to do. I had to sleep sitting up for it. So that's progress. And I see a specialist on Tuesday and then we'll see what happens. And what might the specialist do? Someone was saying that what they do is like they give you a gum guard, but sometimes they they feel like your muscles are really inflamed. They'll use Botox and inject Botox into your muscles. So I'm kind of curious about that. Um, that'd be kind of funny. Like I have no other need for Botox, but it should be funny to see what would happen. Yeah, if it works. Yeah, yeah. I just hope they do something, even if they like inject like an anti-inflammatory, just something into my muscles because they're really like I feel like a horse. They're like so big and sore. That's it now. I'm going to ask Robin to make me tea and then we have some chocolate. Good plan. So all our meal prep is done now. So I'm just going to leave it to cool down and do all the washing up. And then take it easy for the rest of the night before it's time to go to bed. So I'm going to leave this video here. I uh, hope you like it. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next week.